Hi, my name is Dr. Sang Lee, a spine surgeon at Johns Hopkins. I'm going to talk about chin on chest deformity and cervical spine osteotomy to manage it. Nothing to disclose on this topic. This is a chin on chest deformity. This is a, one of the most disabling, difficult deformity for a patient from chronic pain from bad posture and the spinal cord nerve root dysfunction from stretched and impinged the nerve structure. And a lot of quality of life issue from swallowing, hygiene issue, and also patient cannot see the horizontal gaze. So may have very significant mental stress and social issues. The after surgery, the outcome is excellent from regaining alignment and gaze and pain and functional recovery. Uh, this is a picture explaining cervical osteotomy. We are going back of the spine and cut part of the laminar, pedicle, and vertebral body. So it's kind of artificial fracture and realigning the deformed spine. But it's not very simple because uh, there are vertebral arteries on both sides in front of the spine supplying brain and spinal cord is coming from the brain in the middle of the spinal canal. So this is one of the most technically demanding and challenging surgeries for spine surgeons as well. So in the literature, the complication rate is variable from 9 to 60 percent, but uh, the complication rate is much higher than regular use or cervical spine surgeries. Uh, here are common causes of chin on chest deformity, ankylosing spondylitis and post-surgical deformity and idiopathic. This is an ankylosing spondylitis patient. Ankylosing spondylitis is kind of spine inflammation ends up with spine fusion and this kind of kyphotic deformity. So uh, we did cervical osteotomy and thoracolumbar osteotomy to realign the spine and could get a very good outcome. And post-surgical kyphosis is not uncommon from loss of a muscle, bone, ligament structure from prior surgery. So we do similar osteotomy to realign the spine and have a very good clinical outcomes. And the last, the idiopathic. We call that uh, a dropped head syndrome is idiopathic. So sometimes we go both front and back side of the cervical spine to get a good alignment and correct the deformity. This is a dropped head syndrome case. So cervical osteotomy for chin on chest deformity is uh, technically challenging and demanding and higher complication rate than regular cervical spine surgeries. Uh, we can expect the ex excellent clinical outcomes based on preoperative evaluation and detailed surgical planning and good postoperative rehabilitation. Uh, we are treating a lot of patients struggling with this deformity. So if you or your family or your patient have these conditions, do not hesitate to contact us, Johns Hopkins Spine Surgery. Thank you very much.